Hello there, and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about the online courses we offer. As some of you may have heard me mention before, I have a little bit of a guilty secret, which is I love eavesdropping on other people's conversations, listening to them when they don't know that I'm listening to them. Obviously, my excuse is that as an English teacher and a course book writer, it's useful for me to hear how other people use the language. As I said, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, the other day I was on the bus coming home from meeting a friend in the centre of town and there were two young women behind me gossiping about someone. I'm not sure if it was just someone that was a mutual acquaintance of theirs, someone they worked with, maybe a celebrity of some kind. I don't know. I didn't get this information. But one of them said that I overheard them saying, God, he's so full of himself, that guy. He really thinks he's it. To which the other one responded by saying, I know, he needs to be brought down a peg or two. If someone is brought down a peg or two, they're made to realise or they're shown that they're not as important as maybe they thought they were. Their ego takes a bit of a hit. Their pride is dented a little bit. To give you a few more examples, um, I was once at an English language teaching event where another English language teacher who's written course books turned up and was slightly shocked that he was asked to pay five pounds to get in. He then proceeded to say, don't you know who I am? And as it happened, no one on the door did. Um, he had obviously kind of um, overstated his own importance and he stormed off in a bit of a huff much to the amusement of everybody who witnessed this. Basically, we witnessed him being taken down a peg or two. And we obviously all enjoyed that very much. Good football managers often have to deal with players with huge egos. At my club, Arsenal, when the new manager, Mikel Arteta, came in, one of the things he had to do was to deal with uh, Mesut Ozil, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, both of whom clearly saw themselves as stars who were even bigger than the club. And what good managers do, what Arteta did, is to take those players down a peg or two. Maybe by dropping them, putting them on the substitutes bench, putting other younger players on instead of them, or as it ended up, as end, as ended up being the case with both of them, just getting rid of them and showing them that no player is bigger than the club. You also sometimes hear this phrase used when people are responding to news stories. So, you know, you might see a news story of a, a journalist or a politician who's obviously done something stupid and who's decided to take legal action against people who've said they've done something stupid and they lose their court case. And someone might respond by saying, God, I'm really happy to see that pompous idiot lose his court case. That will take him down a peg or two. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please do click the like button. Share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues. And in the comment section below, we'd love to see examples of how you might use take someone down a peg or two.